page number 32.
wake up, sleeping souls. You have slept so long on the lap of the witch Maya. You came into this world of birth and death, saying, My Lord, I will certainly worship you. But you have forgotten this promise and remained in great ignorance. I have descended just to save you, except for me, who else is your friend? I have brought the medicine for destroying the illusion of Maya. Now pray for this Hari Nama Maha Mantra and take it. Thakur Bhakti Vinod fell at the lotus feet of Lord Karanga and after begging for the holy name, he received that Maha Mantra. Lingun 
Purport. Here, Lord Krishna's chaste wife makes a quite unequivocal statement about material sense gratification based on the physical body. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti comments as follows on this verse. On the authority of the statement, Savaipati Syat Akuto Bhaya Swayam, he indeed should become one's husband who can remove all fear. Sri Krishna is the real husband for all women at all times. Thus a woman who worships someone else as her husband simply worships a dead body. 
Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti comments further, Rukmini thus considered that although the sweetness of Lord Krishna's lotus feet is well known, and although he possesses an eternal body full of knowledge and bliss, foolish women reject him. An ordinary husband's body is covered on the outside by skin and hair, otherwise being filled with blood, feces, flesh, bile and so on. It would be, it would be overwhelmed, it, it would be overwhelmed with flies and other vermin attracted by its bad smell and other offensive qualities. Those who have no practical experience of the beauty and purity of Krishna or of Krishna consciousness may be confused by such uncompromising denunciations of material bodily gratification. But those who are enlightened in Krishna consciousness will be enlightened and infused by such absolutely truthful statements. <laughs> 对基于肉体的物质感官享乐，做出相对明确的声明。Shri Vishnu Chakravarti 评注此诗词如下：基于他确实应该或，因为某人能够去除所有恐惧的丈夫，这一声明的权威性。Shri 誒 Shri Vishnu 是所有年代所有妇女真正的丈夫，因此一名崇拜其他某人为丈夫的女子，只是崇拜了一具死的身体。Shri Vishnu Chaturvedi 进一步及评论。Shri Mati Madhuranam 者 ，Shri Mat 誒 Shri Mumini 者一样认为，尽管住居上面花束的甜美非常著名，尽管他拥有充满知识、快乐的身体，愚蠢的女子却拒绝他。一個普通丈夫的身體被外面的皮膚和毛囊覆蓋，否則由於充滿血液、糞便、肉、膽汁等等，身體將被蒼蠅和其他並不好氣味和令人厭惡的品質吸引的寄生蟲所征服。那些對 Krishna 或 Krishna 之國的美麗和純潔沒有實質體驗的人，可能會被可能會被。對物質性的軀體性強烈的這樣強硬的譴責感到困惑，但那些在 Krishna 之國中受到啟示的人，將會由於這樣絕對真實的聲明而心機勃勃，充滿熱情。Shri Chaitanya Manobhisam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Katamayam Tadaki Swapadantikam Pandeham Shri Guru Shri Yata Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavam Shya Shri Rupam Satrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajevam Sarvaritam Sabadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitam Shya He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatvate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Kapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vishapano Sute Devi Pranamami Haripi Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaevata Kapita Nam Pavanevyo Vaishnavityo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadanta Shri Vasadi Gora Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're 
hearing of the joking words which took place between Lord Krishna and Rukmini in her palace in Dwarka. Because Rukmini is the favorite wife of Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna would spend a lot of time with Rukmini. He was practically always in the palace of Rukmini. But Lord Krishna may have uh, Lord Krishna he, he liked to uh, you know usually Rukmini would worship Lord Krishna with great love and devotion and she had a very gentle nature. But Lord Krishna wanted to make her angry, he thought he would enjoy more that, that he sees her in an angry mood. Because Rukmini is always so sweet and gentle. You know, what, and it happened even, you know, uh, Lord Krishna had given Rukmini a Parijata flower. Some of them. 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 Some of so Satyavama was jealous, so Krishna had to take Satyavama to heaven, and he gave her a tree. <laughs> so usually, you know, you give something to one person, and then the other person didn't get it. They feel, you know, oh, you gave her a whole tree, you only gave me one flower, huh? <laughs> but Rukmini didn't say anything. She just, she, she just went on, she was very humble and uh, played the role of like a maid servant in the palace. <laughs> So Krishna was thinking how I can make her angry and see a little bit fire in her, a little more emotion in her. So he began to speak these joking words. Telling her that there were so many wonderful kings who all wanted to marry her. And those, those kings were all very powerful and they were very opulent and they were very strong. So Krishna was saying, they would have made better husbands for you than me. I think, you know, it was wrong for me to kidnap you. So Rukmini is replying to this kind of words of Krishna. And she's given a very good argument here in this verse today. She says that the, these men, they, 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 their bodies are just, uh, to have a relationship with them as a husband or lover is like having a relationship with a a living corpse. Because they have a material body. And she describes the ingredients of this body. 
and flesh and blood and bones. And in that body, there's so many horrible things like par uh, parasites and feces and mucus. And bile and air. The body is just a bag. Yashatma Buddhi Gunapay Tridakute Swadi Kalatra Dishu Boma Ichati Yatirta Buddhi Shala Lid Nakarajit Janeshva Vigneshu Saeva Gokara. There's a nice verse in the Srimad Bhagavatam which says that one who thinks they're the body, which is just simply a bag of these elements, mucus, bile, and air, then that person is as stupid as an ass. So Rukmini is describing that ladies who don't, uh, who they don't take pleasure in the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, but instead they accept some material man for a lover or a husband. Then they're fools. Because they're, they're just simply having a relationship with a bag, with all these different horrible things inside. Just like you go to the supermarket and you get different items off the shelf and you put they put them in a big bag for you. So here this this material body is another bag. And inside the bag we have blood and bones, mucus, bile, air, parasites, all these wonderful things. <laughs> I may mix them all together and put, make them look good. And you grow the hair on the head and on the face. Have a beard and a, and a moustache and hair. And paint it up, make it look good. And people are ready to fall in love and have a relationship. So Rukmini is comparing that either you have a relationship with Krishna, who is a spiritual body, or a relationship with a mortal man. So Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti from his purport on this verse, he talks about, he quotes from the seventh canto Srimad Bhagavatam mm -hmm. about how Krishna is the real husband of everyone. Because one who is the husband or one who is the guardian is meant to protect that person who is under the shelter. But who can actually protect us in this world? One devotee was describing, he was in an aeroplane when the, the, the air, there was some very bad turbulence, mm. you know, and the, every, of course, they were telling, sit down, put your seat belts on, and everything, you know, 
and the plane was up and down and you know people were screaming and they were really afraid and the one lady was sitting next to with the with the with her husband or something oh oh you saved me save me and and so this devotee was sitting beside them, he turned to them and said, He's not going to save you. You should pray to Krishna. Krishna is the only one who can save you. So this is the ignorance of the material world. We're thinking that this person will protect me. Even the young child also thinks the mother and father will protect them. But we go to the hospital, you see there's so many children also there in the hospital. Their mothers and fathers couldn't protect them. Although they were trying, maybe trying to give protection, but they can't. So this verse is quoted in the purport here. It's a verse spoken by Mother Lakshmi when she's worshipping Lord Rishikesh, the master of the senses. And she's telling Lord Rishikesh that you are the real husband of everyone. Because it's only you who can protect us from birth and death. When Prabhupada went to see, oh, what, no, what, what, Prabhupada didn't go to see, what happened there? So one professor came from the university to see Prabhupada. And the, the professor challenged Prabhupada, saying, How can you worship someone like Krishna who is an adulterer? Adulterer, I mean, someone who has more than one wife. In Western society, you only have one wife. So the professor said like that to Prabhupada, and Prabhupada immediately replied back to him, It is you who are the adulterer. <laughs> Prophet told him, all women belong to Krishna. So Krishna is the real proprietor of everyone and he is able to give protection to everyone. So those people who have got some proper understanding, they will surrender to Krishna. But other people who are simply in the bodily consciousness of life, they take shelter of some material body. Which is, you know, a very, the material body is a very unpleasant thing. It's full of bad smells, nasty substances. But still some people people are so attracted to these material bodies. People become 
And, and of course, the, the whole material society is built around this bodily conception. On the basis of this attraction for the material body, this is how the whole economy develops. We see all the shops for the hair and for the skin and for the nails. It's a huge business. One, there's not one, but one, one shop has the name body shop, but there's so many other shops that are all concerned with the body. They don't call it the body shop, but actually their business is simply the body. So they should understand that Krishna has the, the best of all bodies. Because his body is eternal, full of bliss and knowledge. But these so called leaders of the material world, their bodies are not eternal or full of bliss and knowledge. Their bodies are disgusting things. Big leaders of country, nations, you know, their, their bodies are full of disease and full of drug, uh, full of all kinds of these horrible substances. So Rukmini is point Rukmini Devi is pointing out uh, the difference between Lord Krishna and these other men, these other kings of the material world. Showing, telling to Krishna that you think I'm so stupid I could fall in love with some car which is like this. This is the illusion of the material world. We, we, we are absorbed, we think this is something very pleasant. And, and women, of course, will worship these material bodies. And of course, the same is true, men will also worship the bodies of women. Prabhupada, even in Prabhupada's time, Prabhupada saw an old man would go to look at young women dancing naked. So this is, the, the whole material world is in this kind of illusion, the, the attraction for the material body. They don't understand what is this material body. One of the devotees in Singapore was telling me how they're doing some hospice work. They, they go to uh, one hospice center where People who have cancer, you know, and they're they're in the fourth level of cancer, and they don't have long to live. So he's going with the not some other devotees, and they they bring prasadam, and they mm. you know they do some chanting, mm. and they have some games with them, and just try to 
you know, make some nice relationship with them. So these people are all at you know a critical stage in their cancer, they don't have long life to live. But so he was telling me he was surprised to see some of the ladies he come, you know, they're very well made up, they're very well decorated, so they must spend quite a bit of time painting their face. So even at the point of death, you know, people are like this. But uh, Anna Suya told me about her her husband's father, her father in law. She told me that in the morning he had pedicure and manicure. And a few hours later he had a heart attack and died. So, you know, these kind of things happen. You know, people are so absorbed in the body up to the moment of death. They're still thinking I want to look good when I'm in my confidence. Yeah, people want to be decorated, you put a nice sari on the person and put them in the confidence. They're thinking, I want, I want to look nice, everybody's going to come and see me, I want to look good. That's not the goal of life. You know, we have to understand, we have a purpose in this life, that, that we have to get out of this body. Body conception. If at the time of death we're still absorbed in this bodily consciousness, we're definitely going to take some other body again. So a devotee understands that, that, that his duty at the end of life is to be able to absorb the mind on Krishna. And this, therefore it's very important that we develop some taste for hearing the topics of Krishna. So Rukmini talks about tasting the, the, the honey for our tasting the fragrance of the honey of your lotus feet. So this is referring the mood of service to the world. We want to taste that the fragrance of the honey of the lotus feet. We will taste it through service. The more we do service there, there was one devotee wife, I remember, it was Ramachandra, remember Ramachandra who used to be here? Yes. He, he was a householder, mm. you know, and as a householder his wife had cancer. Mm. 
So she knew she didn't have long to live in the material, that material body. So she, she said, I want to go out on Sankirtan and distribute books. She said, I want to use whatever I have, time I have left in this body to distribute this knowledge of Krishna consciousness. So this knowledge is, is, is very important that people in general are not educated about this. They don't think about the, the future of the soul. Where is the soul going to go in the next life? It's like a, the a research center where they had the, the monkeys and they were teaching to cook, they were trying to do communication with the monkeys. And so when one monkey died, they asked the other monkey, what happened to your other friend? Where did the other monkey go? So the monkey replied. Very put in the ground. So the monkey thinks like that. They're thinking in terms of the body. And a lot of other people were in the same conscious. They're also thinking time of death we get put in the ground. <laughs> but when they get, remember it was, who was it? Plato was given hemlock to drink, right? And they asked. They said to they said to play. What will we do with you after you after you drink the hemlock? What should we do with your body? What should we do with you? So Plato said, "Well, you have to find me first. You have to catch me first." Because he understood he was not the body. He understood he's going to leave the body. So the body is burned, the body is put into the ground. So the body put into the ground is eaten by worms. Or the body is burned, it becomes ashes. But for the soul, there's no birth and there's no death. The soul is not cut by any weapon or burned by fire or moistened by water or withered by the wind. So the soul is going to go on, take another body. Rukmini knows this. She knows Krishna has a supreme spiritual body. She wants to be uh, in consciousness of that body, not in conscious in the consciousness of some. Why waste her time? Why waste this valuable human life to be attached to some bag of stool? Any questions? Comments? Krishna is the only person suitable to marry. So no woman can get married. And people will say this is a very negative. 
係唯一一個誒、呃、適合誒、呃、女人去誒即係嘅丈夫啦，即係所有女人都應該係嫁俾 Fisher 啦。咁唔即係話所有女人都唔唔應該結婚咧？ Well, yeah, Krishna has a spiritual body, but you can marry a devotee of Krishna. 咁咧 ，Krishna 用咗一個靈性嘅身體啦。咁你誒，但係作為一個女人咧，你可以嫁俾一個咧係奉獻者嘅丈夫。A devotee of Krishna also is, has a spiritual body because he uses his body in the service of Krishna. 呢、这個誒 Fisher 嘅奉獻者咧，佢都擁有一個靈性嘅身體，因為咧佢用呢個身體嚟為 Fisher 服務。So that's the alternative。咁呢個係一個另外嘅一個選擇啦。咁如果你係想結婚嘅話咧，最好咧就係誒選擇一個奉獻者做嚟丈夫。Otherwise, then you have a lot of trouble. 如果唔係嘅話咧，你就會誒有將會有好多好多嘅麻煩。Actually, if you take Krishna for a husband, he's the best husband. He'll never leave you. 咁係當然啦，最好咧就係選擇 Krishna 做你嘅丈夫啦，因為咧佢永遠都唔會離開你。Understand the nature of their husband's body. Once they become devotees, they can understand the body. 咁誒，但係當呢個即係誒，瑪拉茲佢成為咗奉獻者之後咧，佢就起碼咧都能係最少都應該要明白到咧，佢誒呢個丈夫嘅物質身體係點樣，個個性質係點樣。They don't have to be an illusion any longer. 咁我哋咧再唔需要咧係誒處於呢個幻覺當中。And they can serve their husband. They can continue to stay with their husband and serve their husband and think of their husband as a part of Krishna. 咁我哋咧要可以繼續係留喺丈夫嘅身邊啦，繼續為佢服務啦，亦都係咧係冥想住咧誒佢丈夫就係 Krishna 嘅一部分。You have to see that he is also part and parcel of Krishna. 咁因為佢咧誒呢個丈夫都係咧 Krishna 一個不可分割微小嘅一部分。Not only Jai Shri, so many yeah, other many, devotees. So many Shri is here. <laughs> so many devotees. Yeah. Yeah. We see Krishna in everyone. And I think that due to my karma, this is my situation. Yeah. Krishna has arranged like this for me. Remain surrendered and go on and serve Krishna. Whatever situation we're in, we accept it. Mm. The arrangement of Krishna. So, we have to submit to Krishna. No matter what situation we are in, we have to serve Krishna. Somehow, due to my past activities, I'm in this situation. But it's not. I'm, I'm grateful that Krishna has given me the chance to come to Krishna consciousness. Mm. Better late. Then never. Because I'm doing the past things, it has led to this evil. But I still have to wait for it. Because Krishna has given me this chance to serve him. So, I have to wait for it. Because I'm not doing the past things, it has led to this evil. So, I have to wait for it. Because Krishna has given me this chance to serve him. So, I have to wait for it. Because Krishna has given me this chance to serve him. 
Prashant Sway. Do you know that girl who was here yesterday? Mira. 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 Yeah, she's from a devotee yes. family. Her mother and father yeah. are both initiated yes. devotees. Yes. You can see, you know, it's, it's so natural yeah. to be Krishna conscious. For some of the courses like the deity worship course in Mayapur, they say you should be initiated, twice initiated, or else you should be born in the devotee family. Mm. 所以在這裡有些神像崇拜的課程 brought up in Krishna consciousness 這些小朋友在Krishna之角當中是長大成長的 Okay, Shriman Bhagavatam. Jai. Yeah.